All right, Timothy Renshaw back with us for business from Business in Vancouver. Good morning. Steve, how are you? Uh, the Canadian uh, Federation of Canadian Municipalities Conference uh, was going on this weekend. Right. A lot of things being discussed, uh, one of which was why Rob Ford didn't show up. But that's, Too bad. That's a completely yeah. different topic altogether. In fact, he was on his radio show yesterday in Toronto saying that it was a mistake for his councillors to go because it cost too much money to come to really? Vancouver. But anyway. Well, at least he's got his eye on money. That's there you go. It's important. So let's talk about some things that did happen uh, for the people that were here, and one of which is uh, urban infrastructure. This has been a, a long-standing problem, and right. been, the mayor's been talking about it for a long time. That's true. And, and uh, we're not just talking about, when we talk about infrastructure, you think about sewers and uh, roads and those kind of things but um, also infrastructure that's key to cities now are things like we're we'll talking about cell phones and so we're talking about uh, getting uh, Wi-Fi uh, high-speed internet to rural areas and all those kind of things these are pretty big infrastructure issues that municipalities now face because a, a lot of that uh, cost is being downloaded onto uh, municipalities so you know how are they going to fund this Mm -hmm. It is really key for cities like Vancouver uh, to be able to offer this kind of uh, services in order to attract, you know, the new creative right. kind of innovative uh, uh, people here. So. Right, and, and, you know, and businesses have been calling for, you know, better service, especially in those rural areas. Right. I mean, in the city of Vancouver, it's one thing, but when you're outside and trying yeah. to run a business elsewhere, yeah. you need that, that sort of setup right away. Right, and it's hugely expensive. As, you know, as, as I say, we're talking about cell phone costs and the new, yeah. uh, that new regime, but... Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, Vancouver, we're big in bike lanes, apparently. I, I hear you talking about that. <laughs> That's right. So uh, how can they address this? What, what, what can they do going forward? Well, uh, I think a couple of the key things are um, spending, right? I mean, we uh, heard a little while ago about how much uh, more operating spending the, the big cities like Vancouver have uh, increased, you know, 50% uh, in operating spending over the last 10 years when the population has only grown 15%. So I think that part of it, you know, is just to keep an eye on their spending, but also they need to create a different kind of uh, relationship with the senior levels of government in order to get more money. Because they only get like eight cents out of the tax dollar. Everything else goes to the federal and provincial government right. where they're downloading all kind of costs onto the uh, mm -hmm. cities. So th there's a big issue there. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Nothing the feds want to do but give us more money. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, Timothy. If you want to see right. some more information on that, you can go to BIV.com for more details.